Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a story from 2012. I have actually manifested quite a lot of things in my life, not bragging, I'm just, just saying. There are a few things that I have manifested in my life, just generally, but this is a story that has really stuck with me and I share it with anybody who is new in my life or anyone I want to inspire to manifest things in their life. I'm just really excited to share this story with you guys. It's very personal too. I'm not used to sharing some personal stuff on, with you guys, so let's get started. Already. My dressing gown's in the background, but I like the pink with my purple jumper, so I'm just gonna keep it there. <laughs> okay, so I have my diary here, and in my diary, I wrote down a lot of things I wanted to happen. So basically, let me set the scene. 2012 was a blimmin' crazy year. I was just about to swear I'm like, I don't wanna swear in this story. My mum and dad split up about a year prior to this, or it was actually that year they split up. We had to move out of our old house, basically. So when my mum and dad split up, and there wasn't enough ha money to keep the house that me, my sister, my dad, and my mum were living in. So we had to sell our house, and we basically sold our house but then we didn't actually have another house to go into because my dad refused to give us the money for our house that we sold. So we had to get out of our house, move everything, this is the first time I ever moved house, move into my mum's friend's house because we didn't have a house because we didn't have money to pay for a new house that we sold. We lived at my mum's friend's house for 18 months and it was a very, very low point in my life because I was very stuck and if anyone knows me, they know that I love my personal space. I'm quite a private person, but I'm also quite honest and open, which is, it's weird. Some things I'm open about and some things I'm private about. Um, it's quite a low point in my life because I was having trouble with my friends. I, was, I had really people in my life and I'm sorry for swearing I'll, I'll, I'll dub over that <laughs> um, I had really rubbish people in my life and I wasn't happy at all and I was at a very very low point to the point where I didn't actually want to be here anymore um it's actually making me emotional kind of thinking about it <laughs> but it's okay I'm fine now everything's good <laughs> everything's perfectly fine so I wrote down a few things in my diary that I wanted to happen and these things were on this list, a really good friend that I really loved. Get a house, my dad to give us the money for our house, to meet Ollie Murs because I love him, he's my idol, and be happy and healthy because I had a lot of health issues and have lots of friends and I basically pictured in my mind what I wanted this to, to look like, to feel like, I felt the feeling of meeting Ollie Murs already and I had the feeling of having a friend, I had the feeling of a new house. I don't know the exact time frame. When did I do this? 4th of the 1st. So this was the 4th of January. And I met Oli Mers in March. So it would have been two months later and I met Oli Mers. So <laughs> and bearing in mind, Oli Mers has never done a book signing. He never did a book signing, but he actually did a book signing and I managed to meet him. I waited nine hours to meet him and it was so good. Oh my God, oh my voice just cracked. <laughs> The excitement. <laughs> Pictured all these needs in my mind and my dad was never going to give us the money. Like I literally thought he would never give us the money for our house and it was a very very low point but then he, we got to the point where my mum and dad were going to go to court and my dad did not want any of that because he didn't want to pay the money for it which is absolutely ridiculous but we got the money for our house and this is the house that I'm sitting in now and I'm living in and I've lived here about five or six years now and I love it. I love this house. As soon as I walked into this house and they say like six seconds or 20 seconds after you move into a house you know it's the right house you should move in. It was like about 20 seconds looking around this house and this house was a wreck. This house was an absolute wreck, but I said to mum, this is this is the house. Yeah, so I, I love this house. It's so freaking cool. It is literally 40 meters from where we used to live. <laughs> So we live on the, on, the, on the road next to my road, my old road, and it was convenient to go to school too, so I'm very, very happy here. What I want to tell you guys is it is possible. If you want something, you can get it and you can achieve it. I'm going to show you a clip. If I can find the clip and some photos, I'll show you a clip. This is a picture of me and Ollie Mers. Um, best day of my life. <laughs> One of the best days of my life. And I'll show you a video as well of me meeting him and it was so good and because he was signing other people's books I could just stare at him all the time and it was fabulous and he's so attractive and oh yum um <laughs> so if I find the video which I should do I'll, I'll roll some clips now achieved all those things it wasn't easy it was bloody hard but when I look back on it I think oh my god I am so lucky and you guys have no idea how much potential that you have and this sounds really cheesy but it's, it's absolutely so true we don't know the possibilities that we have in our minds we can change our entire outlook on life and change any experience that they w that we want just by thinking differently 
and by thinking in a more positive way. When I manifested this, I was I was a deep believer in manifesting. It took me a while to, to believe in it because I'm quite stubborn. But with stuff like this, I'm very, very spiritual, as you guys know, if you've seen any of my other videos to do with spirituality and things like that. I'm absolutely so amazed with manifesting. And if you guys don't really know much about it, there's tons of videos on manifesting. I'm not the best at explaining it, but to break it down, in my mind, think of what I want. I describe what I want, write it down on paper. You can put it in your diary. You can put it on a piece of paper. You can put it on a mood board, like a dream board. Visuals are really good for me because I can remember visuals. So if I have something quite in front of me, then I can really remember it. Hence why I have pictures because I can really imagine it. Even if our pictures are stick figures, <laughs> I can still imagine it. I would say number one, is to write down what you want. Be specific about what you want. Say so if you want a house, then write down all the things to do with the house you want. What door colour, even like what colour paving slabs outside. How big you want your garden, do you want a garden? How many bedrooms, how many bathrooms? What you want your kitchen to look like? How big you want your kitchen? Literally everything listed. And if you are a visual person or you just fancy doing a little doodle, just do that. Do whatever makes you feel happy and good about this feeling. Be anything. You could even manifest your own car. You can manifest anything you want. It doesn't have to be a material. Mine was friends and to be happy and healthy as well. So it's not just materialistic things. If you guys meditate as well, meditation is really good for focusing your mind on something. So number one is to write it down. Number two is to feel the feeling before you actually have the feeling. So to imagine how happy you'd be in that house that you really want or that car that you really want or that person that you really want in your life say a new relationship a boyfriend girlfriend a dog <laughs> be like specific and realistic if it's like a dog and you're not allowed a dog because your parents won't let you have a dog then it's probably not the most realistic thing so at number three is to constantly look at what you're dreaming so keep feeling the feelings keep doing it and i know how bloody difficult this is because i've been at the pits i've been in such a low mood that i think f this i do not want to look at this anymore i don't want to feel it it's not happening but then you just have to keep lifting yourself up as hard as it is you just have to keep going and sometimes it's really easy sometimes it's more difficult but that's just life so number three is constantly look at what you have pictures pictures writing Constantly look at it, repeat it to yourself. Make it easy for yourself, make it like one sentence. Number four, be happy when it comes. And don't be disappointed if it doesn't come because it might not be the right time. Like you might have been asking it for it for years and it hasn't come yet and you're like, oh for God's sake, why? But just think about all those other experiences you've had because they may be the way into getting that thing. You might have no money but then you suddenly some you meet someone who gives you a job to get more money to get a car or something you just don't know so be positive guys i love you so so much thank you for listening to this weird and rambly video um, i really hope you guys enjoyed it i'm sorry if it is quite boring but if you enjoyed it that is so good because i love making these videos i love sitting down and talk, talking to you guys if i could do that if you guys really enjoy this sort of thing then i can carry it on it doesn't have to be about spirituality or manifesting it can be just about anything life general but yeah I, I love chatting to you guys so if you guys want more videos like this then please please comment down below and let me know or just give me a nice comment please don't forget to like thumbs up uh share subscribe all the above <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate every single one of you who have subscribed and are watching this video i love you and i will see you all in my next video stay positive guys you can do this Ooh.